Greetings, salutations, and hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mega Mitch. And before I hear people in the comment section shouting clickbait, I am here to tell you that yes, I did employ some mild clickbait. I honestly figured more people are likely to click a video called The Odd Ones Out Stole My Popcorn versus just the blandly and generically titled VidCon Australia 2017 Highlights. But for those of you who only want to see the part of the video that's relevant to the title, I have placed a time code at the bottom of the screen so you can skip to that part of the video. Because my goodness gracious, this is a long story. Honestly, VidCon Australia had no business being as good as it was. I had a really good time and I didn't expect to have as good of a time as I ended up having, which I know sounds rather cynical, but you have to understand that me and conventions don't really have a very good history. Half the time I've been to conventions, I've had little money to spend, the food is expensive, if you're not buying something from one of the stalls, you're basically left to your own devices. Then there's the panels, which someone's probably recording to post online later anyway. Then there's meeting or catching up with your friends outside or in the halls, which you probably could have done anyway on literally any other day without having to spend $40 to get in the door. Sorry, sorry, I'll make a separate video on conventions as a concept before I get carried away again. So let's begin our story. And what better place to start a story than at the beginning? On Friday, I arrived at the convention center to receive my pass. Whilst there, I ran into a few friends of mine from the local YouTube community, which I used to go and see at frequent Melbourne meetups. I got my pass, I drew my little mascot character next to my name, both for branding purposes and just because I felt like it, and then I headed back into the city to have dinner with other YouTubers, both big and small. Apparently there was also a launch party going on at the same time, but that was specifically for speakers and guests at VidCon, so I didn't really get a chance to go to that. Or did I? Well, no I didn't, but a good friend of mine Facebook messaged me this video on the night. Subscribe to Mitchell motherfucking zero! Oh, it's overexposed. I have to do a close-up. It's overexposed. Here, Mitchell, you're at the YouTube party in some way. I have to say, it honestly brightened my night. For context, Mitchell00 is the name I used to go by on YouTube, and the phrase, subscribe to Mitchell00, became a frequent in-joke in our small part of the local YouTube community. So in a way, I was there in spirit, and I think that's awesome. After food and drinks and talking about potential collab opportunities, I headed home early to get enough rest for VidCon the next day, because the last YouTube convention I went to two years earlier, I had a terrible time. I was sick, I overspent on travel and on my ticket, and... Ah, uh, crap, I'm, I'm rambling again. Remind me to make a separate video about that sometime, though. So I wake up the next morning, take a shower, regrettably skip breakfast, and run out the door. But not before catching the new episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000 on television. Man, they've really gone downhill these days since they've changed hosts. Once I get there, I wander around the community area of the expo hall. I see that there's booths, jumping castles, video games, a food area. Free that camera, he didn't do nothing! Man, the line for the bathroom is really long. After exploring for a little bit, I went upstairs to the creator's lounge where there was free coffee and a random girl asked me why I was vlogging the coffee machine. And I responded that I was from an alternate universe where coffee machines didn't exist and I needed to film evidence of one to show my people at home. She refused to talk to me after that. I met some other fellow creators and honestly, hearing other YouTubers talk about their YouTube channels is both enough to inspire and intimidate simultaneously because you realize how competitive the world of online video is these days. But at the same time, seeing their passion for what they do, even if they don't have that large of an audience, really motivates you to start putting passion into your work as well. I'm gonna be real with you guys for a second, but I haven't really been this motivated to make content since 2012. It's not that I haven't loved doing it, but my heart just wasn't as in it as it used to be because I was spending too much time catering to my audience and not what I wanted out of my YouTube channel. I'm slowly learning to really find that balance between making content that both appeals to my audience while simultaneously making the content that I love to make. Well, hey now, make sure to keep your head above the water. Learn, share, create. Wanna collab? Yeah, sure. W what did you have in mind, random sign? You have an idea, right? In the community hall, I randomly ran into Lewis Spears, and I immediately realized that he is a lot taller in person. After that, I started to boredly walk around thinking that I'd pretty much exhausted all of the things I could potentially do and filmed all of the things that I could potentially film. So I went back to the creator's lounge and I had another coffee. That's when I noticed that people were leaving business cards all over the place, and I was starting to think, if I collected all these cards, it might allow me to summon the impossible Exodia! Wait, impossible or unstoppable? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm keeping it. 
While I was in the creator's lounge for the third time that day, I met a fellow illustrator, animator, and voice actor. She informed me that the odd ones out had tweeted out that he was at the con, which, to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't have known otherwise. She was totally fangirling about the concept of meeting him, and to be perfectly honest, I used to be like that myself when it came to meeting the people that inspire me, but I like to think that I've matured a little bit since then. I can safely say that I'd never be the type of silly fanboy that'd run and scream at the sight of the people that inspire me. You see, internet celebrities are people. You should approach them in the way that you would like to be approached. Heck, there have been occasions at past YouTube events where I've been casually standing next to a popular internet person and have been having a chat with them about YouTube and about my channel, and it isn't until a crowd starts forming around us that I realise, oh, this person is internet famous. I literally had no clue this person was internet famous. I didn't know who this person was. Never seen a video of theirs. Wonder if I should snarkily tweet something like, oh yeah, me and this guy are besties now. Ha ha ha, lol. <laughs> <coughs> just kidding. So me and this person I just met go on a QUEST TO FIND THE ODD ONES OUT! And as we set off on our quest, he came up the escalator. And as I looked at him, I had to think to myself, he sure does look a lot different from his picture. I thought he was gonna be some kind of white blob creature with no clothes on. Disappointed. Just, just disappointed. So I snap a quick picture with him, talk to him about how I occasionally dabble in animation myself, we have a nice brief chat about our channels, and then I head off. So I went back downstairs and I stopped by the Planet Dolan booth. Bought a poster, got to chat with them a little bit, snap a picture, and then not long after that I headed up to the creator's keynotes, which was basically a highlights reel of some of the featured guests bringing them up on the stage and having them make inspirational speeches and such, some of which were particularly motivating to me. You see, things like VidCon and general YouTube events have enough passion and energy from other people floating around to really refuel you when you hit a creative slump or writer's block. It honestly felt really good to see all this creative energy and excitement going around. Once the stage show had ended and I'd exited the room into the open hall, it was like it had become a completely different place. Everyone was crowded around the door, there were alcoholic drinks, it was night time. It was now that I realised that the upstairs area had now become the creator after party, where you got to mingle and talk with your fellow creators. So I get myself a drink, I walk around, meet a few new people. I walk up to my friend and I start to jokingly introduce myself like, Hey, I'm Mega Mitch! And then I turn to the guy she's talking to and I jokingly introduce myself to him. But I stop for a second, thinking that he looks familiar. I open my mouth and I say, You look suspiciously like Michael Aranda. My friend burst out laughing and the guy looks me dead in the eyes and he says, Yeah, there's a good reason for that. And I have no idea how my face must have looked at that moment. But I froze up and internally I was like, Crap. I just made a complete fool out of myself in front of Michael Aranda. So I quickly got a photo with him and I sped out of there before I could make any more of a fool out of myself than I already had. While I was talking to another group I'd met earlier that day, Dolan comes up to talk to me and says something along the lines of, Hey, our group's over there on the other side of the room if you want to come join us. And it took me a moment to register what exactly was going on. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not typically used to big YouTubers approaching me because typically it's the other way around. On the outside I was pretty casual and chill and held up my finger guns like, Hey, yeah, that sounds awesome. But internally I was just like, what is even happening right now? I am going to say something stupid, or embarrassing, or completely make a fool out of myself for the second time in the past hour. But nothing bad actually happened, and long story short, I had a really rad time hanging out with Planet Dolan. After that I went home, marathoned the new season of Bojack Horseman, and went to sleep. Sunday rolls along and I end up feeling tired and groggy, and I'm not particularly sure why. Somehow the exhaustion from the previous day must have carried over, even after I had what was ultimately a decent night's rest. I had a weird dream that night where I punched a wizard. Please don't ask me to elaborate. I've completely forgotten the context, and it's probably not relevant anyway. Initially, I wanted to spend my Sunday recording myself doing random activities like going through the jumping castle, or playing the Just Dance that they set up for everyone, but I ended up just going to panels the whole day. And, I'm sorry, but the first panel I went to was so crowded, and I swear that they sat me next to the loudest person in the audience, who seemed to just always want to be the center of attention. It was annoying. And I know a thing or two about being loud and annoying. I mastered the art of being unintentionally loud and annoying at conventions, but this just takes the cake. I'm sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. I'm sure this individual was a great person, but I could barely hear the panel, which is what I specifically came to see. And there were a few occasions people turned around and thought I was the one shouting, and on any other occasion I'd take the blame for that, but this time it wasn't me. I'm being framed. As I alluded to earlier, I didn't really have much of a plan when I went to VidCon. My whole intention was to just really go with the flow, but if I had any mission objectives rolling around in the back of my head, 
One of them was to meet MatPat of Game Theory, and I thought there was a chance that I could get a conversation with him. In theory. And I didn't just want to talk to him because he's a big YouTuber, but because I know that he analyzes and studies the YouTube algorithm and has been known to talk to fellow YouTube creators on how to improve their channels. I wanted to get some one-on-one -on -one time with him, but that was particularly difficult with the amount of people who wanted to get photos and videos and stuff signed, and yeah, you know the deal. Typically, if there is a guest at a panel at a convention that you want to spend five seconds with, there are hundreds or thousands of other people in the same room as you who probably want the same thing. But he did stay over time after his last panel to talk with people, and I did briefly get a chance to talk to both him and his wife about live streaming and YouTube in general. And then I had him sign my notebook. Little does he know that I am Kira- oh, wait. Ah, shit. And then after that, VidCon was almost over. It was at that particular moment that I realized I hadn't really eaten much that day, so I went downstairs to the community area, got some popcorn at one of the food booths, and I casually ran into the odd ones out again. He's a pretty chill dude! Look at that finger gun! That is the sign of a chill dude right there! That guy, whenever someone looks at him, they say, That's one guy that is a chill dude. Chill dude. Finger gun. Alright. Chill dude. But then, the unthinkable happened. I could not believe it. The whole world went into slow motion, and a betrayal most heinous occurred. The Odd Ones Out, no doubt, reached out and took a handful of my popcorn and ate it! And in that moment, the man I thought I knew to be a chill dude, chill dude, turned out to be a mildly less chill dude. Have some popcorn, mate. Look better. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, I'm only kidding. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Hyperbole at its finest. And that was pretty much the end of it. And I had a surprisingly good time at VidCon considering that I went there not really expecting much. I mean, it sounds bad to say, but when VidCon started I was more familiar with mainstream YouTubers like Shay Carl, Shane Dawson, Charlie is so cool like. But these days, I don't really follow that many mainstream YouTubers anymore, so I didn't really recognize a lot of the guests. And after being in the YouTube scene for a while, I thought the brief thrill of meeting e-celebrities had kind of worn off. I've been looking forward to the idea of going to VidCon ever since VidCon was first established as a thing that existed. <laughs> but I never had the money to go and stay overseas. But that was back during a time when I used to frequent conventions. And now I don't. Before I went to VidCon this year, I had a moment of trying to figure out why I was even going to VidCon in the first place. I wasn't looking forward to anything specific, and I didn't really have a plan going in. If I met fellow creators, cool. If I met some of the people that inspire me, cool. But I wouldn't have been disappointed if none of those things happened. If I had just ended up chilling in the community area the whole time and not had any of these incredible opportunities, I probably would have shrugged it off as a reasonably pleasant weekend with some friends. The only real intention going in was to just go with the flow and see where it took me. I guess what I'm saying here is that I didn't expect to have such a good time and I ended up having a really good time, and I'm really looking forward to VidCon Australia next year. It was an incredibly pleasant surprise, and I am more motivated than ever to get back into making animations and reviews. To all the YouTubers I name dropped in this video, uh, if you're watching, it was nice meeting you, and I hope you had as good of a weekend as I did. And to anyone else that met me at VidCon, I am so sorry.